Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to show you is um, a function called match. Now, match returns a number, but I always think, I often think match is a bit like salt. You kind of, you wouldn't use it on its own, but it's incredibly useful when combined with other functions, which is what I want to show you in the next bit. Where we're doing the H lookup with the match function. So I've got some lists of data here as well. And the first thing I need to do is I need to create a combined entry, which I'm going to do by equals uh, this. And then I use my little ampersand and this. Press enter. And then I copy it down. Sometimes you have to create what's called a helper cell, which is what we have here. Okay, so I'm going to go equals this plus this. Click that one and then just double click to copy it down. So what I want to do basically here is I want to kind of see, you know, is this entry, for example, 100 banana, can I find it in this list over here? Of course, you'd obviously do that with the VLOOKUP, but this time I want to show you how you do it with a match. So I click here, come up to my lookup and reference, which is up here. Then I go down to match. There we go. And it's kind of it's a lot of, like a lot of these lookup functions there's kind of a certain similarity to it so the lookup value is this one and the lookup array is this column here h i'm basically saying this is where i want you to look and i want an exact match so i put in zero and then i click ok and then i just drag this down all right so you're probably thinking well what does six mean okay so if i take a hundred banana over here and then I go over to this list here. And if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, see there, basically 100 banana is position number six in that list. If I go down to this one, it says NA, it means can't find it. So there's no 100 orange over here. And 100 apple, it says four. So if I go one, two, three, four, it's position number four in that list. Right? And the same way if I come over here and do the reverse, click here, just go to look up in reference, down to match. So I say, this is what I want you to look. And then the lookup array is, this is the column I want you to look in, column C and zero. So usually you want an exact match. Okay. And I click OK, or press Enter, and you see there, so position number six. So if I click this one over here, and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, it's position number six in this list. 100 grapefruit doesn't exist. Go to 100 banana. And if I go one, two, three, four, there is 100 banana. All right. Now, you can also go here, and if you don't want to see NA, you can just put a little up here in the equals match up here. Open this bit. And if I type in if error, which always thinks like a blanky function, and you get a, like a little explanation down here. So we've got the value, which is normally your formula, and then what you want to put in instead if it's an error message. I go comma, and I'm going to put in um, zero, and then I click close my brackets. One thing to note is that if a bracket is missing in Excel, the bracket will be red. But when your brackets are closed off, that bracket becomes black. Click there. And then if I click here and then drag it down, see there, it's returning a zero instead of NA. And if I do the same thing here, and again, I just kind of will maybe double click on it, put the cursor between the equals and the M, type in if error, pops up, double click on it, go right of the red, comma, put in zero, and then close my brackets, press enter. And you always do it at the top one. You don't do it where you see the error, because then when I drag it down, it returns that one. All right. So uh, I hope you found that useful. And mind yourself and take care. Bye.